Hey everybody, we're back here. As you can see, the uh, assortment of tools here I utilized to get that mesquite tree or bush or whatever you want to call it, weed, out of there. Um, my chainsaw, of course, I try to keep out of the dirt because that just plugs it up, as I mentioned. <clears throat> so I hauled out my Dwalt Sawzall here and I ran a cord out to stump in the ground there and I used that to get that stump a little grade. Then I cut like a crisscross pattern into the stump and I put on some of this high-powered weed killer kills just about anything kind of stuff. Uh, and then I covered it up with dirt. So here you go from a long shot what we're talking about here. Get up a little closer. You know, the birds have already been up in there. Probably checking it out. Who's gonna get that tree? Picking up their territory. But as you can see down here now, um, this is approximately right in this area here is where that mesquite bush was. And I Cut it down, filled it in. As I mentioned, I put some good strong weed killer on that. I've done that in a couple locations in the yard and it actually does work. It actually does help to kill that thing off underground. I don't know why or how, but it does. So now we've got a tree that actually looks like something. And I think we're probably gonna keep, instead of a mess like this, <laughs> This is kind of what was there before, so it gives you an idea what you can do with, uh, with some hand tools and a good chainsaw and maybe a couple other select tools. But um, So that clean that area up. Um, yesterday when I was out here, I was looking this over and deciding how I was going to do it. You can see this white spot in the ground here. Uh, I found a big old snake hole right there. You could probably fit a baseball bat in it. So uh, what I did was I went and got a piece of chalk dirt, which we have down here in South Central Texas, and I packed that in that hole. And I figured if it doesn't choke them off, then it probably ain't in there anymore. And if I came back out here today and there was a hole, I know that that was still an active location. But it uh, looks like either they decided to stay underground today or that's not an, uh, an active location anymore. But I bet you it was at one time. They are probably living under this bush here. It's just like they're probably living under that one and that one and that one and that one. Um, so that's part of the snake population control out here and rodent population is to get these things cut down get everything that's anywhere near the house taken out and that way we don't have to worry about any kind of critters trying to take over around the house um, I know people that have left their properties go wild and they end up with all kinds of issues. Uh, we're not planning on doing that, as you can see. We've been doing some work up around the house too now. Um, laid some new dirt down. We've got our temporary wood sidewalk and uh, some of the grass that I planned to late in the season last year, which is often this area over here. There's that mystery finger. Um, that all came in real nice. I got it on zoom so my finger looks like huge. Believe me, my hand's not that big. Okay, so uh, if it was, I probably would be a surgeon. Would you like that going inside? Alright, so anyway, um, that was the project for today. Was to get that tree out of here. Um, I did some calling around this morning, trying to get some sod. 
and I'm not having a lot of luck. It's still about two weeks too soon. Um, but I just, as I covered in a previous video, I just put down about, uh, I don't know, six yards or so of uh, fill around the house. And of course, not having gutters on the house, I don't want that fill getting all washed out. So I want to get some sod on that as soon as I can, and I'm probably going to have to spike it in the ground because it's on a grade. So anyway, um, that was it for today. Uh, once again, thanks for checking back in. Um, as you probably noticed, you're going to see a little bit more activity out here. Now that uh, we're past our winter, things are warming up. It's time to get some work done. So, uh, check back. Uh, once again, if you'd like to support the project, we do have a Patreon account that's down below in the description. Um, anything helps. If you want to become a patron of our homesteading project, we'd highly appreciate it. Um, if you're getting some value out of the video series of how the uh, manufactured home process uh, takes place and steps involved, I think there's uh, 40 plus videos in there on that. So. Go ahead and uh, take a look and uh, hope you get something good out of that. And uh, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to get the rest of these tools put away and get washed up. It's a hot Friday night in Lockhart, Texas. You'll probably be sitting at home with a pizza watching TV. So we'll catch you the next time around.